Good afternoon. I'm William Moore. And I'm Nisha Samra. Today is Wednesday, September 21st, and we are here with your daily Next Wednesday, COHS will be hosting Financial Aid Night in the MP room from 6 to 8 p.m. The meeting will cover the general financial aid process, accessing and completing the federal student aid application, and applying for grants and scholarships. This week is High School Voter Registration Week. If you are 16, 17, or 18, you can pre-register or register to vote online. To learn more on how you can participate in our democracy, visit Vote to Register. Vote in the ca.gov. There will be a <coughs> postgraduate workshop tomorrow from 6 to 7 p.m. on Zoom. This workshop will answer questions on everything you, you need to know after high school. The Zoom links are available in your Synergy email. Yearbook is looking for pictures of CO students who have been friends for a while. They love to feature a then and now picture of you and your friend or friend group. You could DM your pictures to COHSYBK on Instagram. Now, let's check out what's happening in the rest of the world. Good afternoon, I'm Angelina Duarte. I'm Damon Ramos, and we're here with your global news. Hurricane Fiona, previously categorized as a Category 3 storm, has now reached Category 4. It has hit Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and the Turks. Fiona is currently making its way towards Atlantic Canada, brushing Bermuda on its way. Recently in California, there has been talk about the training of PAW platoons. This program trains therapy dogs for the first responder firefighters that are always out there putting their lives at risk. This program originally came from Folsom, Brown Strata to El Dorado, and then spread out to even more spots around the country. In local news, a Sacramento apartment fire has left one dead and two injured. 911 calls were made around 3 a.m. from an apartment building near 16th Avenue and Franklin Boulevard. Some residents were said to have had to jump from the second floor to escape the flames. The investigation into the cause of the fire is still ongoing. In Boston, a suburban public high school named Stoughton High has informed their faculty that political items such as Black Lives Matter and pride flags are not allowed in classrooms anymore. The principal of the school told the faculty that they need to avoid place items in the classrooms that can cause a disruption or a distraction. Thanks for tuning in. Now, back to Nisha. Wow, I hope everyone in, the, in Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are well right now. Yeah, and also um, to comment on what Damon said, you know, the policies that's happening in Stockton kind of remind me of um, the Supreme Court that happened in, uh, <clears throat> I forgot, it's, um, I believe, Tinker versus um, the city of Des Moines. And um, interestingly, you know, it, um, they were protesting the Vietnam War and stuff like that. And surprisingly, the Supreme Court favored the students. Wow. Moving on, this Thursday, COHS is bringing awareness to the EGUSD First Foundation launch event. Be sure to attend the fundraiser to hear from board members and the EGUSD superintendent in the culinary building at 5.30 p.m. Students, uh, <laughs> tickets are $30. Today, History Day is having an informational session in HD4. If you can't attend, you can email Ms. Dietrich or stop by HD4 before or after school or during late lunch. You can get your ID photos taken in the library. If you never got an ID, you can get it for free, but if you lost your ID or want a new picture, then you must pay $5 at the student store, then bring your receipt to the library. Cash will not be accepted. The parent luncheon is happening this Friday, September 23rd. You can bring your parents and siblings. You can also bring lawn chairs and blankets, but please remember DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any other delivery services are not allowed. It's Wednesday, and you know what that means? Let's pass it on over to sports. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Jonah Mercado. We're here with your sports update. All right, let's go. Last Friday, our football team played their homecoming game against Elk Grove High School. Let's check it out. Roll the clip, guys. The game started off with a very energetic feeling. With a rocky first drive, the Wolfpack scored a 24-yard touchdown with Wolfpack TV's very own Jared Quenga. Great job. Late into the second quarter, an interception at our 13-yard line gave Elk Grove a defensive touchdown, followed by another score, putting CO in a one-touchdown hole. Quarterback Ranveer Molly was injured late in the second half, played the game through. That's my quarterback. Let's not forget Jeremiah King's stellar performance throughout the game with a 46-yard touchdown. Let's see that again, guys. 
Our defense played admirably and fought hard throughout the game, even suffering an injury for linebacker Miles Luke. But don't worry, he'll be back. Thanks, guys. Unfortunately, we lost 14 to 49. We'll meet Davis head on this week with our running game. Last week, our women's tennis team played against Elk Grove High School. Congrats to Katie Sue, Alexis Chung, and Jalen Fan for winning their singles matches, and Ashley McKino, Grace Wong, and Delaney Fan for winning their doubles matches. Let's see that in action. All right, what's your name and grade level? Um, hi, my name is Zaina and I'm a freshman. Are you playing singles or doubles today? I'm playing doubles. How do you think you're gonna do? I think I'm gonna do pretty good, yeah. you guys play today? I played number five singles today. I also played, oh wait, no, I played number six singles today. How do you guys think you did? We both won our matches, so we're pretty excited. I It was a, a hard game because the wind was super rough, but I think I did good. Yeah, I think we both did pretty good considering that we both won, and like she was saying, the wind was a big factor in like making it hard to play with, but overall, I think we did okay. Good job, you guys. How long have you been playing for the school? I've played for all four years of high school. Uh, this is my first year on the team. What's been your favorite part of being on the tennis team this year? My favorite part of being on the tennis team is getting to play doubles with my friends and then getting to joke around at practice after school. Also last week, our women's volleyball team played against Franklin. The game was canceled due to an injury from one of Franklin's players. However, our team played really well up until that point. Here's some highlights. Great job, people. Hope to see you kill it at tomorrow's game against Pleasant Grove. Now into World Sports News. Jonah? In MLB news, the Dodgers beat the Diamondbacks 6-5, and the Red Sox beat the Reds 5-3. In the NFL, last Sunday, the Packers beat the Bears 27-10. Man, the Rackers really are struggling this year. Sorry, Aaron Rodgers. And from my hometown, the Jaguars beat the Colts 24-0. Love to see it. Yeah, and unfortunately, my Raiders blew a 20-0 point lead to the Cardinals Sunday with a final score of 29-23 and crushed my soul. As always, I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Jonah Mercado. Now back, back to, to Nisha and Sahar.
Cassandra. And I'm Willow Moa, and remember the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy yeah. National Chai Day, wolf.